All right, everybody, it's that gratitude guy with the gratitude podcast interview with the pandemic. So today I have my good friend, Jim Rio, aka coach with me to, uh, first of all, welcome Jim to the uh, gratitude podcast. Thank you, David, aka Brooker. Yeah, Brooker, yeah. So today I have two simple questions. Hopefully we can spread some uh, positive vibes around the people and give you a couple of answers for things that might help other people. In your particular case, Jim, what is your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic? It's uh, since I'm kind of sheltering in place to uh, do some things that I have time to do now. Um, you know, projects like cleaning. I cleaned my closet yesterday and got rid of some old clothes, things I, I never did uh, before. Um, also kind of get a plan of what I'm going to do if it's three weeks or three months. I uh, am a personal trainer, as you know, and I'm getting accredited on a higher level than I am accredited now, which takes about a, uh, a month or two of studying. So I have time for that. Uh, exercise. I've, uh, uh, where I live, I have a a uh, 10% graded hill here that's about a mile and a half high. Uh, and I'm starting to run up that. And um, diet, eat right, stay positive. Those are kind of my coping. Watch a little TV, some movies I enjoyed. I watched Top Gun yesterday for the 50th time and see some movies that uh, I didn't get the chance to see in the theater. I'm going to catch up on that. So. Excellent. I like that. I like cool. also the cleaning the closet and doing things you may not have had a chance to do in the past. I know that uh, was similar with me where things have gone on a to-do list I never quite get around to, but this has given us an opportunity to maybe do some of those things because everybody's kind of sheltered in place or stay at home, stay safe, as our governor tells us. So excellent, uh, excellent answers for the first question. Second question, uh, during these uh, most uncertain times, uh, what are you most grateful for? Good question, and uh, you're the one to ask it, but uh, I am uh, grateful that I, uh, when I wake up in the morning, I have a gratitude journal I can write in, mm. and I'm healthy enough to write it in it, but uh, with the times right now, the first thing I'm grateful for is my health. Uh, I'm also grateful for the 67 plus years I've lived on this planet that I've uh, taken really good care of myself. So uh, if something did happen, that I would have a, a, a good uh, fortitude, a good immune system, and uh, you know, didn't drink and smoke and other things. Uh, finances are not in the, even though it, things are uncertain, it's more health, uh, you know, friends, Definitely I have a few friends, you're kind of socially isolated and sheltering in place. So I have a few good friends I can chat with via phone to kind of keep me socially connected. And uh, I would say that's kind of my priority. It's, uh, as you know, with, with health, money is not that important. More right. is your health and, and you know, hopefully what you can contribute. Good stuff, good stuff. You know, when they say that you can't appreciate up until you've seen down, and I think this pandemic has certainly proven to us that, uh, man, we have a lot of things that we, we need to appreciate and hopefully we do every day, but uh, you cited a lot of good ones. I liked your coping mechanisms and I like the things you're grateful for, a good reminder. So uh, thank you, coach. And uh, for those of you that are paying attention, uh, stay tuned as the gratitude guy will be providing uh, maybe one or two of these a day with different people just to get different perspectives. But uh, thank you, coach. I really appreciate it. I say one more thing, David. Of course, P.S. Uh, it uh, comes from a good friend of mine. Be grateful, never quit. Never quit. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> no, neither have I. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks, Coach. You bet. Bye now. Bye.